One, two, three, let's go! Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and if the title has included you in it's a book haul video we like a book haul so it is June and June is my birth month which means uh, I have received a lot of books as gifts presents you know Sometimes we get those. And I have also bought a lot of books. I did a little poll on Instagram, seeing as there are a lot of books and it felt like there were too many books for one video. At least for me. Uh, the results were kind of very evenly divided. Uh, so that did not help me out in the slightest. So I'm just gonna go with the flow see what happens so this will be part one so we have a lot of books we shall see how many books we get into and i'm not sure about this hair but there we go so we have a lot of books today um let's see how it goes so the first one i have is Rebel by Marie Lu. Now, this is a legend novel, and seeing as the legend series, which I have just finished, just about, uh, I'm not really sure about this one. I feel like it's like a 10 years later kind of a book. Yeah. It seems to be following Eden and Daniel. So Daniel is Day from the other one and Eden is Day's brother. Uh, seems to be following along them. We shall see what how this is. Either way, I'm very excited to read this because I really have been enjoying the Legend series. So more Marie Lu books, please. Thank you. So these are a couple of books from a series called the Baba Ganesh Agency Investigation. Baba Ganesh Agency Investigation. Is that the... That's a long series name. Uh, either way, I have had the quick reads which I believe it's like number 4.5 of the series so I have got uh, The Unexpected Inheritance of Inspector Chopra uh, the, perplex <laughs> the Perplexing Theft of the Jewel and the Crown these are not tongue twisters at all. The Strange Disappearance of a Bollywood Star. Uh, Murder at the Grand Raj Palace. And Bad Day at the Vulture Club, all by Vaseem Khan. So I can start this series now, I feel, because, you know, reading like a short novella book that's like in the middle of a series, it's not probably the first book you should read. Um, I know my mum has read it and she really enjoyed that one and she's not read any of these. Uh, but I mean, she's not the biggest reader, so uh, I'm not sure uh, how to how to take that I'm not gonna read <laughs> I'm not gonna read the blurb or anything yet because that would feel like cheating but uh yeah oh it says about the author that he now works with crime scientists at the University College in London and his passions include elephants cricket and great literature I mean well, that's interesting so mystery crime kind of thing either way I'm loving these covers they're really really cute 
I am very excited to finally get to these at some point. Whenever that will be. Uh, another couple of books that's... I mean, these have gone around on Bookstagram for quite a while. I've heard that they're quite good. Um, also in the kind of mystery, murdery kind of a vibe. So we have a good girl... A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and also Good Girl Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. I believe they are a duology. Um, yeah, murdery mystery kind of a vibe. I mean, that's what we get from the covers and also from the back and the titles. So, supposedly these are, uh, well, yeah, the mystery crime thing, but um, not the, the usual vibe of crime books are usually quite heavy. And these are supposedly, <laughs> and these are supposedly uh, easy, easier to read, not as heavy as other crime books. I don't know yet. I will let you know after I have read them. Another couple of books that I have a couple of the books of the series already and I haven't started to yet because I believe one of these are the first book. Yeah I need to look into stuff. <laughs> So it's the Hope Meadows series by Lucy Daniel. So I have Summer Days at Sunrise Farm and also Summer at Hope Meadows, which I believe is the first book. Um, I have no idea what these books are about. Shall we guess that this is the first one and read the blurb? Newly qualified vet Mandy Hope is leaving Leeds and her boyfriend Simon to return to the Yorkshire village she grew up in where she'll help out with animals of all shapes and sizes in her parents' surgery. So, countryside, animals, romance? So, I did get a Christmas book as well. We love a Christmas book in summer. So I got a An Island Christmas by Jenny Colgan. And I'm pretty sure this is part of the Muir... Muir? I don't know how to say it. Um, yeah, so it's part of the Endless Beach, the Summer Seaside Kitchen and A Very Distant Shore, those books. Uh, which I have all read, so this will, well, yeah, it will be nice to uh, return to uh, the Scottish island of Moor. I really should learn how to pronounce things. Uh, I have also gotten another... Another favourite author of mine is Ali McNamara and I've gotten her Secrets and Seashells at Rainbow Bay which I'm not sure if it's connected to any of the, her other books or if it's new characters, new scenery and all that but uh, she writes, I want to say rom-coms uh, her books are usually quite lovely. Another other favourite author of mine is Paige Toon and I'm slowly building up my collection of her books because I as of yet have not owned all of her or I have not owned all of her books. Uh, I do believe that with these I will be I will have all of her books except the one that's about to come out in June June 26th I think that's the date so I have uh, Johnny Be Good and I have uh, Baby Be Mine which I believe are sort of connected with each other 
I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Johnny Jefferson, Johnny Jefferson. I think this is the first book and this is the second book. Or it's the other way around. One or the other. I got those. It's um, Celebrity PA to Wild Boy of Rock, Johnny Jefferson. Which the Accidental Life of Jesse Jefferson are the YA books that's connected to uh, that series. Um, fun fact, I've not read any of those books yet, but I will be getting to them. Uh, so we have A One Perfect Summer, which seems to be set in Dorset and Cambridge. I'm just skimming the blurb. I don't actually want to read them. I, I don't actually want to read the blurbs because uh, they're all spoilers. Um, I will keep you informed. And uh, lastly of the page two books, I have 13 Weddings. Bright light. There you go. Um, I'm guessing there's a lot of weddings involved. So, Paige Toon writes what I would like to class as rom-coms. From what I've read of her books so far, the ending seems to be a mix of uh, sometimes you get the happy ending and sometimes you get the, uh, the sad ending, but it's also very satisfying in a way to not always get that, you know, picture-perfect ending. Uh, and it, it, she leaves you hanging until the end of which way it's going to go. We like that. And very lastly, for this, this part of the, I almost said giveaway. No, lastly for this book haul, uh, I have finally gotten myself a series that I've been wanting to read for a very long time. Um, and it's a lot of books. It's the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. So we have, so we firstly have Cinder, which I've heard is a Cinderella retelling in space. I have no idea, but I think the cover is cool. So, sure, Cinderella in space. Sounds good. Next up, we have scarlet and thinking about it supposedly all of them are retelling so scarlet who's scarlet little red riding hood that seems about right i'm so bad at the fairy tales but um, there you go so next up we have cress and I have no idea who Cress is. I'm I'm going by the cover here, and if you can see, it's a girl with very long hair. So, what's that one with the girl in the tower? I don't know. Anyway, next one. We have Winter which just going by the apple <laughs> gives me snow white vibes yeah no idea i believe these last two are like companion novels with the like a collection of short stories so i'm not even gonna guess so we have a uh, fairest which says it's Levana's story. Who's Levana? I guess I'll find out. <laughs> oh, that's freaky. Okay, so, and lastly, we have Stars Above. And this one says it's a Lunar Chronicles collection. So I'm guessing this one is definitely a collection of short stories. <laughs> I'm so good at this. I suck. What did you think? I have a pile of books. So, what did you think? Have uh, you guys read any of these books? 
Uh, are they good? Are they bad? Any particular order I should be reading them in? Let me know. Or just, if you want to pick a book for me to read, go ahead. I might just do that. You never know. Uh, yeah. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I shall see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.